These is on Feuerbach is a set of 11 short philosophical notes written by Karl Marx in 1845. They outline a critique of the materialism of Marx's time, particularly that of Ludwig Feuerbach, and offer a new materialistic understanding of social and historical development. Below is a summary of the main ideas Marx presents in the thesis on Feuerbach. 1. First Thesis. Materialism versus Idealism. Marx argues that traditional materialism, which is the theory that reality is physically constructed and social life is a reflection of this reality, is too simplistic because it fails to acknowledge the subjective role human beings play in shaping their own social reality. Unlike materialists who consider reality solely in terms of physical objects and forces, Marx emphasizes the need to understand the sensory world, which encompasses both practice and theory. Second thesis, the question of reality. The issue of whether or not objective reality exists outside of human perception is stressed as less significant than the materialist notion that reality is perceivable to humans. Understanding is rooted in practical, sensuous activity, which implies that consciousness is also a social product, developed through material interactions and experiences. Three, third thesis, the critique of materialist doctrine. Marx criticizes materialism for viewing the essence of humanity only in the form of the individual and solitary, without appreciating individuals' roles within social and historical contexts. Human essence is not abstractly inherent in the individual. Instead, it is shaped through the ensemble of societal relations, with the community being a fundamental fragment of this essence. For fourth thesis, on abstract materialism, Abstract materialism, which detaches itself from social context, overlooks the role of human activity. Marx emphasizes praxis, practical activity, over contemplation, suggesting that the active role in transforming the world is essential. Humans must participate in and change their circumstances, not just observe them. 5. Fifth Thesis on the Role of Criticism Here, Marx points out the limitations of philosophical criticism that merely interprets the world without aiming to change it. While philosophical debate has some value, it neglects the transformative power of revolutionary practice. Marx is advocating for practical critical activity that not only understands the world but sets out to change it. Six, sixth Thesis, Human Essence The human essence, according to Marx, is no abstraction inherent to the single individual, but rather the sum of the societal relations. It is through practical living that humans create these relations, and thus create themselves. 7. Seventh Thesis, Feuerbach's Materialism Marx argues that Feuerbach, while critical of idealism and religion, fails to recognize that his own materialist views are not fully emancipatory since they ignore the importance of human activity. Feuerbach's materialism leads to understanding God and existence in merely abstract theoretical terms rather than advocating for practical change. Eighth, eighth Thesis, Social Life Marx emphasizes that social life, not individual experience alone, is essentially practical. He critiques prior philosophers for not understanding the primacy of practical social relations in shaping human psychology and consciousness. 9. Ninth Thesis, The Highest Reality of Human Life This thesis points out that the highest reality of human life is the ensemble of the social relations that gives rise to the rich tapestry of history and culture, rather than any isolated human endeavor. 10. Tenth Thesis, The Standpoint of the Old Materialism Marx contrasts the old materialism, which viewed individuals in isolation, keeping humanity divided into rigid societal classes, with his new understanding of materialism that emphasizes the social relations that derive from the collective human praxis. 11. Eleventh Thesis, Philosophers and Practitioners The eleventh and most famous thesis on Feuerbach states, Philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways. The point is to change it. Marx criticizes philosophers for their tendency to simply interpret the world without actively seeking to change it. This reflects his belief in the importance of revolution and calls for a praxis-oriented philosophy where thought and action are united in the quest to transform the world. Throughout these theses, Marx critiques the previous philosophies, arguing that they failed to link human sensory experience to the practical activity that is essential for transforming the societal structures. He emphasizes a revolutionary practice. 
hinting at the need for humans to engage actively with their environments to produce social change. His focus is on the social being of humans and how their consciousness and material existence are invariably intertwined with and shaped by the social contexts and the historical activity they engage in. The theses on Feuerbach, though brief, are dense in content and provide a launching point for Marx's later work, particularly his development of historical materialism, which seeks to understand the historical development and social changes through the dialectic of material conditions. Marx proposes a humanist and practical philosophy that focuses on changing the world through collective human action, thereby emphasizing a revolutionary approach to achieving societal transformation.